We live in a uh, country where there are going to be massive investments in a new electrical infrastructure over the coming decades, uh, and I think it's very important we get that right. I think the, the biggest threat that we face in terms of the effort to bring change uh, is a sense that it's simply not possible, that business as usual is too encrusted over a balkanized system of regulation, that there are too many states, too many regulators, too much complexity, uh, and that efforts to introduce the kind of change that are required at the scale and the time required are, are simply not possible. One of the things that we've found is that if you're working with complex systems, what you really need to do is to bring together the different parts of that system so that they can begin to understand and create the opportunity to collaborate around shared issues. E-Lab is a new model of innovation and of collaboration. It has a real shot at making a difference in this system, but it's not a typical project. It's not something that we've done before or that anyone has really done before. And we hope that E-Lab and its members will really come together to uh, make it viable in the long run. The long view goes one step further than just um, how we make money today. I think it goes further to address the issues of technology innovation. It's a great opportunity to collaborate across a broader ecosystem. Um, it's very important um, to be uh, in sync in a collaborative way with uh, other technologies on the smart grid. One of the key elements of our design for eLab is that it's focused on action rather than talk. And uh, we've designed a process that we think brings that possibility to reality. That is by learning together and then identifying a set of projects that we'll actually go out as subsets of the eLab to undertake. That's the focus of, of, of all we're trying to do.